Hey guys, it's ReefGuy92 coming at you from the 175. Tonight I'm going to show you guys how to do a little bit of fragging. So nighttime has fallen on the reef and I'm on a hunt. I'm coming out and I'm going to go grab some corals from my tank. I'm going to make a couple frags. So basically we're going to take off pieces and we're going to chop it up, put it on a little frag plug or a piece of rock and I'm going to make some money. One way that I keep my reef going and keep things just a little less cussed is just making a couple frags for people here and there, doing some trades, and uh, kind of makes it pay for itself. So these are the simple tools for the setup. I've got a little container full of, about half full of water, enough to cover a frag and a little piece of coral, um, and a little frag plug. I've got snippers. Gorilla Glue Gel, which is really helpful when you have hard corals or any soft corals you can put a dollop on and it's not going to run all over your fingers. And a little towel just to dry my hands and dry the pieces of coral or the frag plugs or the pieces of rock so I can apply the glue. Got my little table set up and I'm going to go pick a coral and bring it over to the table and show you how it's done. I've got a little piece of green Pacillopora here. Um, some of it's died a little bit. I had some other coral stinging it a bit. Um, but this is the advantage of having a little good pair of snippers. Um, we can cut off the dead tissue. Um, the other coral piece of this whole thing is actually doing just fine. So there we go. We've actually cut off anything that was dead. And, and, and keep in mind, these corals can be out of the water for a few minutes. Uh, I mean, I don't try to keep them there forever. But given a little bit of time, they are okay and they will survive just fine. So cut off a couple, I'm going to stick them in the water, I'm going to throw this rock back, and then uh, I'll show you how to glue it onto a plug. Grab a piece of rock, uh, but this guy is a little bit bigger, so I'll give him a little bit bigger piece of rock here. Um, hashtag free frag plugs using chunks of rock um, is one of the best things. Plus it gives your tank a little more natural look, which is really nice, um, versus these, you know, start white plugs. So I put a little glue a good little doll because this is SPS coral it's a hard coral um, it's gonna need a little more structure and support um, just because there's some weight to the coral dry it off on the end a little bit get that coral sit pretty decently on that nice piece of dollop of glue nice little mount there for the coral dip it back in the water get the coral back in the water and let the glue cure under the water now you can get um, chemicals that basically speed up this process if you want. I mean, you can pay extra for that. That's fine. Um, I've never had an issue. I hold the tank or the coral in the water for 30 seconds, 60 seconds. Kind of lean it against the side of the bowl or dish that I'm using. And uh, typically within a little bit of time, it will be just fine and secure. So I also have a type B scenario here where the coral is unable to remove from the tank. Um, it's part of a structural rock. It's attached itself to that rock. And I want to get a piece of that coral right there straight ahead. Um, now, the best thing I'm going to do then is go in with my snippers into the tank itself, cut the coral there, hope that I can find it and catch it and that I don't knock anything else over, um, and then grab that frag and then throw it over into the little container I've got and uh, glue it onto a plug outside of the tank. Hopefully this is going to go work, and I'm going to show you guys once I get this frag out of here how it's going to look. So I've got my other coral here. Um, this one I've taken from the tank pretty quickly. I don't have a big enough container for this one. So I'm going to grab my piece of rock. Again, making a small but decent sized dollop of glue on the base of this rock. This one might have trouble. I might have to go stick this one in the tank bottom of the coral, dab it off dry. <laughs> Put that piece of coral on there, holding it securely. Then on this one, because it is a bigger piece, I'm going to get a little bit of glue around the skirt, the bottom of this coral. I'm going to stick this back in the tank, hold it there for a minute or so, let it dry. Got my next plug, piece of rock right down there. 
little bit of glue. And this one I've got next here is actually a couple of Zoas, uh, Pineapple Express. And I was lucky enough for these guys to be free floating. Um, I'm not a big fan of Fragonies, um, just because there is the paleotoxins that can be quite dangerous. Um, so gloves, eyewear, and uh, if you have any cuts on your fingers, to be very cautious. If you pop one of these and that juice squirts out that's in them, uh, comes into contact with your eyes or those cuts on your skin, um, it can actually be really quite dangerous. And, uh, you know, possibly even deadly. But, again, these guys were free-floating, so... I got really lucky, and uh, I didn't have to worry about uh, <laughs> dying today. So I'll put that guy back in. I'll put the glue on. It is on just a tiny piece of fragment, a piece of rock, um, which worked out great because I've made it really easy to glue on. Uh, I've got another SPS here. I'm going to do these really quick. And i got a couple pieces. Um, i got one piece of orange setosa here I'm going to throw on a plug. Another piece of that green pseudopora. This guy's quite a neat little coral. I've got the corals in their little container and now make note that not all these corals are the same um, and when you are doing this make sure that these corals don't touch um, it's important to note that SPS corals and S LPS corals soft corals they do have stinging cells um, and these stinging cells I think they're known as nematocysts um, will actually sting other corals and to make way for territory for themselves so they're really greedy and they want the most space they can get so the best thing to do um, when you are putting these in and you've got a few different types is just to give them a little bit of space in between each one So they get time to heal and also then they're not touching and fighting for territory And then you end up with one dead coral which really sucks and it does happen in overly crowded tanks So nighttime is fading in fading out or fading in fading out um, Coral frags are done you um, Sorry for the dark pictures here the blue lights are on and it's quite hard to see but I've got there we go some frag plugs on the tree. I got a little frag tree here that I use. Um, obviously, there's only one frag plug. The rest are pieces of rock. Um, benefit to frag plugs, they fit in frag trees and frag racks. So, yeah, they are nice. But um, I do like the rocks still, just as they give it that more natural look and uh, makes it a little nice um, later on than having this big frag plug in the way. There's the uh, corals there. Sand bed is still a mess. Come on, Desaria snails, do your job. And I got a couple other corals that I fragged, but again, too dark. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Reef Guy 92. Um, got weekly videos coming out every Sunday or Saturday. Uh, Going to be one time over the weekend. Um, and I look forward to all those subscriptions and new comments, views, likes, shares. Do what you need to do. I'm always happy to uh, give some comments and give some feedback. Thanks, guys, for watching, and you have yourself a good day.